Grace upon grace, greetings, word of life, and welcome to today's morning dew. We are on our seven weeks with the Holy Spirit, and today is our day eight, the spirit of power. That is our declaration today. In Acts chapter 1 verse 8, we read, You shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Here we see that Satan is, I mean, the Bible is, is saying that because Satan is no gentleman. How well you structure your phrases or how well you speak has no impact over him. So the language the devil understands is not French, is not English, is not Kiswahili, or any other language but the language of power. Amen. When you read Psalms chapter 66 verse 3, um, the Bible says, Through the greatness of thy power shall thine enemies submit themselves unto thee. What does it mean? That Satan never submits and never bows willingly, except when he is forced to, be, to, to bow down by great power of God. So, out of arrogance or stubbornness, we see in the Bible that Pharaoh was saying, I will never let the Israel go. But Sign after sign, you know, um, wonder after wonder, miracle after miracle, he had to bow down and his empire was brought to its knees to let the Israelites go. So from that, what is the stubborn case in your life that makes you cry, makes you powerless? What is that long-lasting sickness, the joblessness, barrenness, unfaithfulness of your spouse, stubbornness of your child, poverty? What is that stubborn situation that is before you? Today morning, we are plugging unto the Holy Spirit of power that Pharaoh must bow down by force under our feet in the name of Jesus Christ. Are you ready as we go before the Lord so that we can command the Pharaohs, the stubbornness cases before us to bow before the Lord? Let us go before the Lord and pray. Prayer number one, I command every knee of rebellion, of stubbornness, of drunkenness, of untimely death, of disease, sickness, immorality, marital disorder, uh, disorder, drug addiction to bow down today and to every tongue of accusation, opposition, of gossip to confess to God in the name of Jesus according to Romans 14, 11. Father Lord Almighty, we come before you. We are commanding every knee of re rebellion, every knee of stubbornness, of drunkenness, the, the, uh, the knee of untimely death, of diseases, of immorality, of um, drug addiction, or masturbation, of suicidal thoughts. We are commanding them to bow before us, before you, in the name of Jesus Christ, and to every tongue of accusation, of mispresentation, of opposition, of gossip, whatever it is, we are confessing, we are praying today that they will confess to God in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen. Prayer number two. We are standing with Ezekiel chapter 29, verse 2 to 3. In the name of Jesus Christ, Pharaoh who is holding back illegally our family. Pharaoh is holding illegally our wealth, our siblings, our womb, our country, our city. I set my face today against you. I prophesy against you today. Let my family go. Let my wealth go. Let my siblings go. Let the country go. Let the world go. Let our city go. In the name of Jesus Christ, let them go. Let them go in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The way Pharaoh bowed down, we are commanding the Pharaohs in our lives to uh, whatever that they are holding illegally in our life. Let them go. Let them go. Let uh, let everything that belongs to me, let everything that has been ordained for, to, to, from God for me, let them go in the name of Jesus to serve you. In the name of Jesus Christ, let my body go. Let my mind go. Let my soul go. Let everything that I own, that is around me, that I, am, uh, I owe to to have to be able to serve the Lord, Lord Almighty Father, I command Pharaoh to let go what belongs to me, to let go what you have given to me, or to let go what is rightful mine in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And lastly, we pray and we stand with Psalms chapter 91, verse 13. Let every evil power resisting and challenging the prophetic anointing and the priesthood anointing in me be crushed and turned to ashes under my feet in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord Almighty, we pray. Let every evil power that is resisting, that is challenging the prophetic anointing and the priesthood anointing in me, let them be crushed. Let them be turned to ashes under my feet in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray. Let every evil power power, resisting and challenging of God, the prophetic anointing. Let them be crushed. Let them be turned to ashes in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining me this beautiful uh, morning. I welcome you for the morning altar of prayer from 6.30 to 7. Please help us to join us at that particular time. Beautiful hour for us to be able to hear the word and also to command our day and our week. Uh, so, encourage
encourage you to follow us uh, on a daily basis 24-7 on our channel. For those who haven't subscribed, please help us to uh, subscribe so that you can be able to get uh, the word of God.